a man we've been covering for a very, very long time, Evan Dunham. Uh, it's got to be a weird week for you, Evan. You were supposed to be literally hours away from getting in a cage, and, and now you're just hanging out at home. What's what's the emotions of this week been like for you? Uh, it's been tough, just like I think for everybody. Uh, the big thing is just, you know, not knowing what's going on, you know, um, did I lose it? Uh, not really knowing what's going on, you know, in the world and stuff. And uh, so I, we, I've just been staying safe at home, still training hard, uh, hoping to get the fight still uh, as soon as I can. But just trying to enjoy time with the family, but still really working hard so I can hopefully jump in there pretty soon. Yeah, it's been such a weird process for all. I mean, this thing keeps changing as we go along. I'm just curious. I mean, when did you kind of, I guess, accept it or maybe even expect it that this was going to be the result? Uh, I, I don't know. I, it was probably uh, about three or four weeks back, you know, um, with all the uncertainty going on, um, you know, I just didn't think uh, the event might be going through. Um, so, that you know, it was about, about a month ago when I kind of had an idea that things might not work out the way that we wanted them to. Uh, but, you know, it's – it is what it is. I know everybody's in the same place. And so really we're all going through it together. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely tough because I was really looking forward to getting back. Um, you know, it, it's been about a year and a half now. Uh, I've been ready to go for a year. Uh, so I was really excited to, to, to get in there. I've, you know, been improving on a lot, a lot of things. Uh, I think a different version of myself, which I've always kind of prided myself on and switching things up. So I was looking forward to it, but it is what it is. No doubt, man. We got some company here, but that, <laughs> that's life these days. I, I wanted to ask, I mean, uh, I, I guess you call it your comeback fight, right? I mean, are you viewing this as a comeback? I mean, it wasn't like a, like a long time that you were away from the sport, right? No, no, it was, I'm not really seeing it as a comeback. You know, it's, I'm just, I'm happy to be coming back kind of re-energized in the sport. You know, I fixed a couple of injuries that were really nagging me for a long time. I never really thought I'd get through those things to a point where I could do full camps, but now I'm a hundred percent and very excited. Uh, so when it got kind of swept out from under us, it was disappointing, but you know, everything's going to go back to normal at some point and, and I'll, I'll get to show that new version of myself again. So I'm excited. We got some very recent news that the UFC is going to do three events a week, May, May 9th, uh, 13th, and 16th, I believe. Um, what do you know right now? I mean, are, are, is, are you willing to get on one of those cards? I mean, it looks like the May 9th one's full, but those other two, have you heard anything about them? Or, are you willing? Is that too soon? What do you think? Uh, I haven't heard anything, um, but I definitely would do them if they gave me the opportunity. I'm ready. I mean, I could even go 70 on a short notice. Um, I'm just ready to get the ball rolling again. Um, and if they give me the opportunity, yeah, I would love to take it. You know, we're very really smart with our training. Uh, I've like one, maybe two guys, and we very small bubble, so to speak. So we're all healthy and ready to go. So if given that opportunity, you would definitely see me in there. Nice. I like it. What about the matchup? I mean, would it, would it have to be Michael Johnson again, or, or do, does that really matter to you at this point in your career? No, I don't think that really matters anymore. Um, you know, the opponents, you know, is a big deal, but not that big of a deal anymore. You know, as far as ranking on all that stuff, I just want to go out there and put on a good show and have a good time because really like at the end of the day, that's, that's, it's a lot of fun in there and <laughs> I miss it. So, you know, I, the opponent really doesn't matter. You know, it's, it's Johnson with the Southpaw. So it was making us some adjustments for him since he's a Southpaw and I'm a Southpaw. Uh, so if it ended up switching and it was orthodox, it wouldn't be an issue because it'd be kind of switching back to more familiar. So it really wouldn't make a difference for me. Yeah, no question about it. Talk to me about, because uh, I was curious, one of the reasons I really wanted to talk to you was being a gym owner, right? I mean, I got to imagine on the one hand, it's a blessing, right? Because you've got, you've got training facilities when a lot of people don't. On the other hand, the business side of things right now are, are tough for, for everybody, but especially, you know, you're one of those small business owners that we're talking about. Uh, in in the world today, so what's the, that been like for you? Because here you are focusing on getting ready for a fight, but at the same time, you know you've got this stuff behind the scenes. How's how's that been for you? Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh, <laughs> you know, we we shut the doors to our gym, and we haven't let anybody in there. I, I don't go in there to do training. I don't let anybody in there to go training. Uh, if we're closed, we're going to be closed. I don't want to. I don't want to bring people in there when my members can't come in there. So it, we've been shut completely down since the get-go, unfortunately. Um, 
you know, we're, we're getting through it. You know, we've moved everything on, uh, online. So we're actually running four classes a day just on Zoom. So, you know, that in itself is adjustment. I think I'm taking to it uh, pretty well. But, uh, <laughs> you know, it's definitely different when you're like, all right, guys, come on. You almost feel uh, aerobics more than, you know, anything. But uh, it, it's been an adjustment. Um, it's closing the doors and all that stuff. It's tough. You know, I have employees and stuff. But we'll make it through it. It is what it is. And the thing about this whole situation that is somewhat comforting, I guess, we're you know, it's not a situation where it's an isolated group, you know, it's everybody's dealing with the same things. And so I take comfort in that a little bit, but it's definitely hard being a small business owner right now, but it is what it is. Yeah, no doubt. That's funny. So I saw the blue mats behind you. I assumed you were in the gym uh, right now, but you're not. No, no, no. I'm at home. I, I, <laughs> When this first happened, you know, my wife was very on top of it. Um, and so she said, hey, we can probably be inside for a while. So I went and grabbed all my extra mats and really did up my garage so I could have somewhat of a training facility. And then, you know, I'm really lucky because I got guys like Bull Sandoval over at the UFCPI who's sending me programs. And I'm able to, to put together two workouts a day, you know, in my garage, which is a real nice thing. That's awesome, man. Well, talk to me. I mean, I guess there's uncertainty. We'll, we'll get it figured out in the next couple of weeks, I imagine, and maybe even the next couple of days we'll get you a fight announced. But um, what's your goal, Evan? What, what, what do you want to do? Like you said, it's not really a comeback for you. So, and again, yes. you weren't away that long, but I, you know, I think you admitted you kind of lost a little bit of the passion, so to speak, or what have you. So give me an idea. In this phase of your career, what, what are the goals for you? Uh, you know, the goal, the goal is to have fun and continuing to – to live the kind of lifestyle that I've always lived, uh, following, following my pursuit of happiness almost blindly because, you know, uh, earlier in the stages, you know, you just trained, you trained, you had fun because that's what it was. And then eventually it turned into something really, really cool that I could make a living off of. Um, you know, and I think it's true for anybody in any job after about, you know, 10 years of doing anything, you start to question and you start to wonder about things. Um, and, I, and I'm no different than anybody else. Um, so I had that time away from the sport, but it kind of confirmed my love for it. Um, I took a step way back from the MMA part and dove heavily into the jiu-jitsu part, uh, but there was still something missing. So uh, my goals with this is to just pursue the thing that I love to the very end until I can't anymore. And I know I got a lot more fight in me. I've been able to prove it day in and, you know, uh, the gym. And I know I'm at the level where I can still compete with these guys, no problem. So my goal is just to have fun and to ride the wave. And, you know, things like the, what we're going through now have also kind of confirmed in my mind that I don't have to live for, like, later on. I got to live for now and then let later on kind of figure itself out. So that's my goals with this is just to have fun and, you know, that's it, man. That's about it. <laughs>